Hello everyone, my name is Hannah, welcome to a new video, and welcome to my Winterween reading vlog. So if you don't know, Winterween is a Halloween-themed readathon in winter, in January, hosted by Gabby from Gabby Reads and Olivia from Olivia Reads a Latte. This year it is running from January 3rd through the 9th. Today is January 2nd, and Gabby just started her Patreon this year, so of course I had to, you know, jump on that right away. And she's doing reading sprints on her Patreon with Olivia for Winterween. So they're starting a little bit early today. They're starting, they're 3 p.m. my time, so like five hours from now. But obviously I want to participate in those, so I guess I'm going to be starting this, you know, just a smidge early. Because if the hosts say it's okay, it's not breaking the rules, right? Also, I just wanted to show my reading journal spread for Winterween because I really love it. So you can kind of get a sneak peek of what my TBR is. I hope you can see this. I've got these like haunted house, like, I don't know, like spooky stickers from my mom, which thanks mom, because they're awesome. They're like three dimensional, like they poke out, like look at this house sticks out and like the tree has a little owl in it and the stones are, ugh. It's just so cool. So yeah, let's go over the books that I'm going to be reading. I know that you probably saw it on my journal spread there, but I'm going to talk about them anyways because the first book that I'm going to pick up today during the reading sprints is Come Tumbling Down by Shauna McGuire. This is the fifth book in the Wayward Children series and the seventh book comes out on Tuesday and it's one of my most anticipated releases of the year so you know starting off the year great but I really wanted to reread this one before that one comes out because I think that the next book is called um, Where the Drowned Girls Go and we met a drowned girl in one of the previous books but I think drowned girls or like a drowning world is mentioned in this book so I just I wanted to read it because you know I reread the whole series except for Across the Green Grass Fields which I'm just gonna skip the reread of that because it wasn't my favorite in the series and it's not really connected to any of the other like books like this one is a continuation of Every Heart a Doorway which is the first book and then Down Among the Sticks and Bones is like the prequel to that following Jack and Jill who are these two twins that go to this like very horror movie style world if you don't know the Wayward Children series is a portal fantasy series where these children like find doors to other worlds and basically each book is just talking about these other worlds um but yeah we come back to Jack and Jill and I really really love this one I love Jack and Jill so much so this kind of like fi like finishes their storyline up and yeah, I just wanted to pick this one up because it is still like spooky and creepy and gives those vibes for Winterween that I'm looking for. I'll be reading this during the sprints today. Hopefully I can finish it even because they're so short. They're less than 200 pages. So I don't know how long the sprints are going to be, but I want to try to finish this one today. Then I want to try to get to No Exit by Taylor Adams. This was a DNF for me in 2020, I think. But so many people like Everybody that I have seen that's read this has like given it five stars and said that it's one of the best thr thrillers that they've ever read. And Ashley from Ashley's Little Library, whom I get like a lot of book recommendations from, I think her and I have very, very similar reading tastes. And usually if she likes a book, I will generally like it as well. So I've been keeping it with the idea that I'm going to give it a second chance. And so it's set in winter. It's a thriller, so it's perfect for this readathon, and I think I'm ready to give it a second chance. So I will be picking this one up at some point this week. Then, of course, Where the Drowned Girls Go comes out on Tuesday, so I'll be picking that one up right away. Whether I'm in the middle of another book or not, I will be picking that one up. And then I also have Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. This is an oldie, <laughs> but a goodie, I want to say, because uh, I have never read it. It came out in 2012, so it's 10 years old, and... I just know that this was a lot of people's like favorite thriller like they read it and it would just like blew their minds and I did get spoiled I think for the main twist I'm not even gonna say I'm not gonna say anything because it's a spoiler but um yeah I think that I was spoiled for this and that's why I never picked it up but Chloe made this her Patreon book club pick books with Chloe and so it's her first time reading it but she's seen the movie so she knows what happens and I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna read it and see what it is because I heard that it's like really, really good. So I'm just curious to pick it up and I got this used, I got this from Goodwill for like $6, so 
pretty happy about that. And I have the audiobook checked out from my library. So I think this is the perfect time to read it. So I'll be picking this one up sometime this week as well, hopefully. So yeah, those are my reading plans for this week. I do go back to work. Winter break is over. The day is today is the last day of that. So I do go back to work all week, but I'm still hoping to get a lot of good reading done this week. So yeah, that is going to be my intro for this vlog. I'm going to check back in when the reading sprints start this afternoon. Hello. So I I decided to start Winterween a little early since the um, hosts kind of started it early. Like I said, Gabby is doing Winterween reading sprints on her Patreon with Olivia, even though the readathon doesn't start till tomorrow. But I didn't want to start a book and then not read it for that whole week because of Winterween. So I just, I, I wanted to read today. And so I decided to pick up Gone Girl and start reading it. And to be fair, I did not intend to read as much as I have. I'm on page 136. Um, yeah, I really, really like this. I really like the writing. I'm really gripped in the story. Like I don't want to stop reading it so honestly I might just keep reading this for the reading sprints and I might even try to fi finish this tonight even though the readathon doesn't start till tomorrow I'm just like hooked so I'm I'm bending the rules a little bit I'm really more breaking them but whatever but yeah I'm really really liking this I'm sure most people have read this book before I feel like I'm one of the only people who hasn't read this or seen the movie, but I do know like one big plot twist that happens, but it's not like taking away from my enjoyment at all. I just want to see where this is going to go. Also, I just, I just want to point out that um, Nick Dunn is so misogynistic. I do not like him. I am not rooting for him at all. I just read he, two these two pages here. So the first quote from Nick's perspective, I mean, this isn't even, I've been not liking him since the beginning of the book. He's got just, I don't know, his inner dialogue is just like misogynistic. Like he, he just sucks. Okay. But this, I was like, I hope something bad happens to you. So he says, I thought the unkind thought, one of those that burbled up beyond my control. I thought, women are fucking crazy. No qualifier. Not some women. Not many women. Women are crazy. Okay, so there's that. And then he always gets mad at Amy. And he says... In truth, I wanted her to read my mind so I didn't have to stoop to the womanly art of articulation. Because talking about your feelings is so womanly. Like, uh, why would you want to do that? It's so beneath him. He'd rather just have somebody read his mind. Ugh. Anyways, yeah, not a fan of Nick. He's just like a whiny little bitch. And despite that, I am still really enjoying this. Um, we go, we flip flop back between Nick's perspective in the present day when his wife Amy is missing. And then we flip flop to Amy's perspective, like in the past. And like, it's like her diary entries. I'm really liking the writing and it's like... It's got me, it's got me hooked. I am gripped by this book. So the uh, reading sprints, they start in like 15 minutes or so. So I'm just going to continue reading and, you know, wait until those start. And I think I'm just going to read this for the sprints. So I wanted to update you on that. Um, even though it's not even day one yet. It's day zero. <laughs> I hate Nick Dunn. If I didn't make that clear in the last clip, I just thought I'd make that very, very clear right now. I hate him. Also, here's my setup. I'm laying on my bed with my book. Got my iPad to watch the sprints when they start, which should start like literally any second now. Half eaten Pop Tart. Let's go. Well, cool. Hello to everybody here. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me put some comments on the screen. So I'm seeing people. Amanda, hello. What's good? What's good? What's good? Oh my gosh. Ooh, near the Colleen. Wow, there's so many people here. I so appreciate this. This is so cool. Um, so happy to have you all here. What's up, Hannah? Um, <laughs> amazing, amazing. So yeah, like, just let us know what you're... That is so true. So then I started Gone Girl for the first time this afternoon. Yes, Hannah! Oh my god. Heck yes. 
I wish I had read that before I saw the movie. Don't mean to interrupt, but I'm fully interrupting. That's like the perfect creepy vibe. <laughs> I know, right? It was. I was just like, this is giving one by one by Ruth Ware. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know if I like the piano or if it's gonna be really hard. Okay, these sprints just finished on Gabby's channel. They were really fun and I got a lot of reading done. I made it to page, oh, that's where I dog -eared. I made it to page 249. So I am over halfway now and I hit the part where I was spoiled for. So actually, you know, that was about halfway through that thing that happened that I like already knew was gonna happen. So I don't know what's going to happen the rest of the book, which I am pleasantly surprised for. I was 100% ready to spend the whole book thinking I knew how it was going to end. Now I don't, and now I really want to know how it's going to end. So I am going to go take a shower, have some dinner, and then I'm going to finish this book tonight. Which, yeah, I know that it's a day early, but Gabby and Olivia basically gave me permission, so... It's allowed. Just finished reading Gone Girl. <laughs> wow. I did not um, anticipate reading that whole book today, but that is a thing that I did. So book one of Winterween is finished before the official first day. I don't even, I don't even know what to say about this book. I, I really liked it. I'm going to give it five stars, I think. Yeah, not a single likable character in this. Like, it is messed up at points like it's a wild ride for sure but yeah absolutely hated Nick Dunn he was the worst character in the whole book this was really good so yeah really glad that I finally did read this and I'm not even sure I'll probably pick up come tumbling down tomorrow since I didn't get to it today and I want to get to it before where the drowned girls go <laughs> I'm gonna be thinking about this book for a while now so yeah that's where I'm going to leave off for tonight. The unofficial first day of Winterween. Hello everyone. Happy official day one of Winterween. But I did start Come Tumbling Down today by Shauna McGuire and I am almost finished. I think I'm like 140 pages in and it's just over 200 pages. So I don't have much left of this one. So I'm probably going to go finish this one right now. <laughs> And then I really want to get to No Exit by Taylor Adams. I want to get this started and get like a good 100 pages in tonight. This one is just like perfect for so many of the reading prompts for this readathon. And it's just like, obviously it's a winter thriller. So it's like the perfect book. And I am excited to give it a second chance, but I'm a little nervous that I'm still not going to like it. So I'm just going to like try to plow through that and get... I don't know, at least halfway into the book before I make a decision on if I'm going to continue or not. So we'll see. But yeah, I'm going to go finish Come Tumbling Down first and then we'll see where I'm at after that. So I am here for my update for <laughs> this evening. So I know I mentioned that I wanted to finish Come Tumbling Down tonight, which I did. And I really enjoyed this reread. I'm glad that I read it before Where the Drown Girls Go comes out because there's literally a chapter in here or like a part. Part three is called Where the Drowned Gods Go. So I'm really happy that I decided to like reread the books before that installment came out, even though I've reread them before. But like, I'm just really excited to figure out about the drowned worlds. And I just really like the setting of this book. We're back in the moors with Jack and Jill, who we meet in some of the first books. 
So it was fun to revisit that and wrap up their storyline. So yes, I'm giving this a five out of five. I think last time I gave it a four out of five, which is interesting because I don't have a single complaint about this book. So five out of five for this one. I think I will use this as the um, read a novella prompt because obviously it's around 200 pages so it's a it's like a novella but where the drowned girls go is supposed to come out tomorrow and it says it's going to be delivered tomorrow so hopefully it is <laughs> but then i decided to pick up no exit by taylor adams like i said before this is like the perfect book for this readathon it is a winter thriller it's a stranded thriller this girl gets stranded at this rest stop in the middle of a blizzard and she is stranded with like four other people and she is looking for cell service and when she's outside looking for cell service she sees this child's hand like trapped in a cage in the back of this van and so she realizes that one of the people that she is stranded there with is a child abductor and that's where the story takes off so if I didn't already say this, I have tried to read this book before, like two years ago, and DNF'd it. Um, I got about 100 pages in and DNF'd it. I just was really not vibing with it. And I do have to say I'm liking it more this time around. I made it to page 153, so nearing the halfway point. And right about where I DNF'd it, it started to get way more interesting to me. So I'm glad that I like decided to give it a second chance. Um, this is one of Ashley's favorite thrillers. So that's the whole reason why I decided to give it a second chance. So yeah, I am liking it more. I'm definitely curious to finish it and see like what's going to happen now. But I was feeling a little bit at the beginning, I was like the same things that annoyed me the first time were kind of annoying me again but not as bad, I feel like. This book also has one of my like biggest pet peeves in it. Not not my biggest pet peeve, but like top three where you call a character like a nickname. Like in this one, she calls him Rodent Man because he looks like a rodent, which is fine. I don't mind that. Like Foxface in The Hunger Games, she was Foxface the entire time, which is fine. But once you learn the character's name and you start using that character's name, but then you also still call them that nickname that you came up with. That bothers me for some reason. Like, you know their name and you're already using it. Just keep using their name. Why do you have to? I don't know. That's a pet peeve of mine. Anyways, that's a small thing. <laughs> um, one other critique I have about this book is that there are a lot of racial slurs in here. And I just, there is no reason for those words to be printed on paper, written by a white man. That served no purpose to this story. None whatsoever. So I am a little frustrated by that. Like those words should have just been omitted from the story. I just don't think that they need to be in this book. Like there's just no reason for it. So that is a little bit frustrating to me. But overall, like I said, the story is really picking up. The action is really picking up. And I'm very curious to see where this is going to go. I don't really want to stop reading for the night, but I have to work tomorrow morning and I don't want to be dog tired. So I'm going to restrain myself and stop reading this and hopefully finish this tomorrow. And after that, I'm just like really hoping that Where the Drowned Girls Go is delivered because otherwise I, I don't know what I'm going to pick up next. I don't have any other thrillers. I, I don't know. I don't know. So we'll see. Hopefully that gets delivered. But yeah, I do want to try to finish this tomorrow. And I think I'm off to a great start. It's day one and I've already finished two and a half books. So I don't know if I'm still going to call this day one because I started early yesterday. That could be like day zero. This will be my day zero. Yeah, I don't know. So that's it for today. I will check in tomorrow for day two. Hello everyone, happy day two. I am in my jammies already and they're my um, my new matching jammies. I have a pair of llama ones, which I wear all the time, but these ones have little dogs all over them. They have matching pants. I don't even know if you can see that. My mom got these for me for Christmas and they're so soft and I love them. Anyways, let's, okay. So first of all, let's talk about No Exit by Taylor Adams. I got to page... 273 today 
and um, I did not want to put this down at all. It gets so action packed, like action after action after action after action. Like it's just, yeah. I can see why people say this will get you out of a reading slump because you don't want to stop. Once you hit that point, like right after I DNF'd it the first time. So this is where I DNF'd it the first time. This is where it gets interesting. <laughs> yeah, just those a couple things that bothered me that I mentioned last night. But ever since then, it's just been really, really good. Like, I'm just very curious to see how this is going to end. I'm definitely going to finish this tonight. I have less than 100 pages left. I think I have just over 50 pages left, 50 or 60 pages left. But I also got a package in the mail. So I'm pretty sure I know what it is because I've been talking about this package coming this whole vlog. So let's open it together. Let's, I'm about to stab myself with these scissors. Yes. Yes, it's in here. Okay. So here is Where the Drowned Girls Go by Shauna McGuire. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Which I will definitely be picking up as soon as I finish No Exit. It's about 150 pages, I think. I didn't want to look too closely because I didn't want to spoil myself. But yeah, about 150 pages. So I might even be able to finish this tonight after I finish No Exit. And then I can count this for read a book in the dark because I could read this in the dark. Perfect. I'm so excited about that. And I also got these cute... Um, moon stickers look at this little oh let me try this shit okay they're like i'll never get it back in there but they're like little moon phase stickers like here's a full moon look at all this how cool is that so i got those for my um reading journal because i really like the moon and its phases so yeah i'm pretty pumped to have these too but Anyways, we are cooking mini pizzas right now, so I just heard the timer go off. So I'm going to go check on those and see how they're doing, and then we're going to eat our mini pizzas and watch an episode of MasterChef, and then I'm going to read for the rest of the night. So let's go. I just finished reading No Exit by Taylor Adams. I really liked this. I don't know what I'm going to rate it. Um, I just, there were some things about this. Mainly it was the use of racial slurs that I just didn't like. Um, there was just no, no reason for those to be printed down on paper. So I just really, I don't know what the point of that was. I think I said it before, but once you hit like the 100 page mark, it is just non-stop action for the rest of the book, like till the epilogue. Constant action. And I just never wanted to put it down. Once it got started and once it got rolling, I was like, I just need to know what happens because it was, ugh, it was crazy. Yeah, so I'm still not sure what I plan to rate this. I'm still kind of mulling it over. But I do know that this completes several challenges for Winterween. So I'm using it to complete read a book with a winter setting. Obviously, this is set in winter. It's set right around Christmas and right in the middle of a snowstorm. So that fits. 
and then um, it fits read a book with snow on the cover because you can see there's snow all over the cover covering the roads and stuff which hence being stranded in a rest stop in the middle of a snowstorm snow on the cover. I could also have used this book for read a book that gives you thrills and chills because this definitely did but I used Gone Girl for that challenge so I'm already double dipping with this one. I don't need to triple dip. But yeah, definitely glad that I gave this a second chance. So thank you, Ashley, if you're watching this, um, for convincing me to give this a second chance. And not even like truly convincing me, just the fact that you liked it is what convinced me. <laughs> so now I honestly, I think I'm just gonna fill out my reading journal. And then I think I'm going to save where the drowned girls go till tomorrow night so I can read the whole thing at night because I kind of want to watch some booktube now. There are some uploads that I just want to watch right now. I still have to watch Ashley's most anticipated releases. She spent so much time on that video so I need to watch that because obviously if she's anticipating it it's something that I probably need to be anticipating as well so I'm gonna watch that. Um, Gabby uploaded her first winter ween vlog, so I don't want to miss out on that. And then Gavin from How to Train Your Gavin <laughs> uploaded an hour long video about where he, if he hauls books, he has to do push ups and sit ups. So it just seems like a good time. <laughs> so I'm actually going to be done with reading for the night. I need to process anyways. I need to process no exit and kind of settle on a rating. So I do want to save where the drowned girls go where I'm not like jumping straight from one story into another even though I said that I was going to stop everything I was doing and read this book right away I am not <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna go fill out my reading journal and then I'm just gonna watch booktube for the rest of the night and that is gonna be it for day two so see you tomorrow everyone happy day three so I am going to end this vlog tonight because I'm starting to get a lot more footage than I was anticipating so I think I'm just gonna split winter wean up into two shorter vlogs just because honestly they're easier for me to upload <laughs> but I am going to be reading where the drowned girls go now by Shauna McGuire it is nighttime here it's dark I'm gonna go read this in the dark and hopefully it's a really fun, fun time. I've been looking forward to reading this since, well, first of all, since it was announced, but especially since I got it in the mail yesterday. I did start the audiobook for I'll Be Gone in the Dark by Michelle McNamara. This is a true crime nonfiction about the Golden State Killer, which I know next to nothing about. So I think it's gonna be really interesting. Um, I bought the physical copy off of Depop, but it just hasn't arrived yet, but I did get the audiobook from my library, so I decided to just listen to that because I like listening to nonfiction on audio. But I think I only got like a chapter in or something like that, like I just got the first little chunk done, so I'm not very far into that at all. But yeah, I am going to go read Where the Drowned Girls Go in the Dark and complete <laughs> my final challenge. <laughs>
finished where the drown girls go. I did really like this. I was <laughs> honestly, I was expecting to be in a mermaid world for this book uh, because of the title and because of the character we met who is a drowned girl. So I was kind of looking forward to that because I wanted to be in a mermaid world. But we did not get that in this book. And you know what? I should have read the synopsis. I just didn't want to spoil myself or anything. So I should have read the synopsis. It says on the synopsis that it's set at a school, the sister school of Eleanor West's Home for Wayward Children, where it's very different, very rigid with the rules, very strict. But yeah, we meet up with a lot of characters that we met in past books. So it's kind of important to read these in order. There's really not any that you should read as a standalone. You should just read the whole series. <laughs> but I am really, really glad that I read this. Definitely really, really enjoyed it. I liked just being with those characters and talking about the different types of worlds and stuff. And I just really like the story in this book. I'm not sure what I want to rate it yet. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like Ever since the new year, I've been like questioning every single rating I've ever given. So I don't know. I'm just not going to give it a rating for right now and I'll rate it later. I don't know what I want to land on for this one, but I did complete the challenge of reading this book in the dark and reading it at night. So I have officially completed all of the challenges for Winterween and it's day three. I'm probably going to continue on with the audiobook for I'll Be Gone in the Dark because I was really enjoying that one. So that's probably what I'll end up picking up tomorrow, just the audiobook. But after that, I don't know. But yeah, I am going to be ending this vlog here and I'll be starting part two of these vlogs tomorrow. So yeah, let me know if you are participating in Winterween and what books you have read so far, what challenges you have completed. I would really love to hear it. And thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss part two of Winterween vlogs. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye!